Welcome to Davis Sports Report. Today was the big showdown. We had the women's gymnastics individual all-around finals, where each gymnast will participate in all four events to come up with a final score. We had Suni Lee taking home the gold in 2020 Tokyo, Simone Biles taking home the gold in 2016 in Rio, and lots of speculation that Rebecca Andrade from Brazil could challenge the American medalist for the gold this year. Let's check out some highlight clips and the scores. We are going to start with the vault, where first up was Suni Lee. Suni had a difficulty level of 5.0, an execution score of 8.933, no penalties for a total score of 13.933. Next, we will look at Rebecca Andrade, who had a difficulty level of 5.6, an execution score of 9.5, no penalties for a total of 15.1. Wow. Then we have Simone Biles. Biles had a difficulty level of 6.4. Does it get any more difficult than that? The execution score of 9.366 for a total score of 15.766. The level of difficulty and her ability to complete it almost perfectly put her ahead of the pack early. Here are the standings after the first event. Next, we go to the uneven bars where we will start with Rebecca Andrade. And let me note, this is one of her specialties. She had a difficulty level of 6.2, an execution score of 8.466 for a total of 14.666. This was basically a perfect routine for Rebecca. Next up is Simone Biles, who did make a mistake near the end of her routine that cost her points. Biles also had a difficulty level of 6.2, an execution score of 7.533 for her total score of 13.733. Now we will look at Suni Lee. This is one of Suni's specialties. Suni had a difficulty level of 6.4, an execution score of 8.466 for a total score of 14.866. She nailed it. This performance kept her close to the pack. Here are the standings after the second event. The next event is the balance beam, where we're going to start with Simone Biles, who had a couple of wobbles, but the difficulty level was so high that it didn't impact her score. Simone had a difficulty level of 6.4, an execution of 8.166 for a total score of 14.566. Simone means business. Next is Suni Lee. She had a couple of wobbles also, but also kept it on the bar. Suni had a difficulty level of 6.2, an execution of 7.8 for a total score of 14.0. Last was Rebecca Andrade, who had an amazing performance on the balance beam in spite of a couple of wobbles as she corrected them quickly. Rebecca's difficulty level was 6.1. Her execution was 8.033 for a total score of 
Here are the standings after the third event, and my goodness, is it close. The last event is floor exercise. We will look at Alice Diamanto from Italy, and yes, us Americans would pronounce it Alice based on the spelling, but I digress. Diamanto is currently in third place. She had a step out of bounds on her first flip pass that cost her points. She had a difficulty level of 5.6, an execution of 8.0, a penalty of negative 0.1 for a total score of 13.5. Next will be Kalia Niamor, competing from Algeria, and she is also in contention for the bronze. Niamor had a bit of a stumble and a step out of bounds just by a hair. She also had a bad landing on a flip. Her difficulty level was 5.5, execution score of 7.7, .7, a penalty of negative 0.1 for a total score of 13.1. Then we have Suni Lee, also in contention for the bronze, and she had me on the edge of my seat, hands over my mouth, praying with every flip, and to my eyes, she was amazing, despite that one flip where she landed with her chest just a little low. Suni had a difficulty level of 5.4, an execution score of 8.266 for a final score of 13.666, that secures her for the silver. The way I yelled, oh my gosh, it was way too close. Next up was Rebecca Andraji. She stepped out of bounds on her first flip pass, but boy was it a difficult flip pattern. This routine was absolutely beautiful and major applause to her. She had a difficulty level of 5.9, an execution of 8.233, a penalty of negative 0.1 for a final score of 14.033. Last up was Simone Biles, and I was so nervous, but feeling just a little bit better because Rebecca did have that step out of bounds, which was so unfortunate for her. Simone had a difficulty level of 6.9. Yes, 6.9. Her execution was 8.166, and she hit us with that beautiful smile after every flip pass. She had no penalties for a total score of 15.066. She nailed it, she nailed it, and she got that gold. I am so proud of Simone. I cheered so hard that my hands are stinging a little. Here is the final score, and I want to shout out a huge congratulations to Simone and Suni for bringing home those medals. If you have not checked out our piece on the team finals titled Overcoming Tragedy, 
I would encourage you to do so. We talk a little bit about the things Simone and Suni have overcome to get to this point. There is still more gymnastics to go. Vault finals will be August 3rd, and even bar finals will be August 4th. Floor exercise and balance beam finals will be August 5th, where we will continue to look for these ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know your thoughts on today's events. We will see you back here on Davis Sports Report really soon. Have a good one.